Okay, so I just spent the last 20 minutes running through the streets in Paris trying to find this poodle that had just ran off. Like, it was just in the roundabout, so obviously I wasn't gonna leave it. So I just spent the last 20 minutes running barefoot through Paris trying to find this little poodle. I didn't find it. I don't know what's happening. It's 35 degrees, I'm very hot, and I've got the sudden urge to drive to Denmark. Please join me, it's gonna be a wonderful experience, but I need to get out of France for a bit. Okay, let, let's drive from Paris to Denmark. Also, I bought some bougie new sunglasses. Nobody judge me, I've already got judged about a million times today by my own family, so. Apparently I look like I'm wearing retro TV screens on my face, but honestly, let me show you. Okay. accident like it's game over like no you ain't getting that back <laughs> there's a really cool old american car i think it's a what is it called a station wagon it looks a little bit like the ghostbusters car and i'm kind of simping for it i've never seen one in real life i mean if you're american it's probably the least interesting thing ever but belgian boy let's go I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Established Titles, for making Gigi legally a lady by making her a landowner in Scotland. Pretty much what Established Titles do is they have a large plot of land in Scotland and they divide it up and you can buy a square foot of that land. And due to the old Scottish custom of being able to call landowners in Scotland lords, ladies or lairds, you too can now become a lord, lady or laird by owning at least one square foot of land in Scotland. So you get one square foot of land in Scotland and then you can get the title lord, lady or laird and you can legally change your name to this on credit cards, plane tickets, all that kind of stuff. It makes a great last minute gift, you can do it all online. And you get a certificate like this one and it'll give you your plot number. Each one's unique so you can see exactly where in Scotland your piece of land is located and also they plant a tree with every purchase which goes to global reforestation efforts which I think is really cool. Also the first 200 people to use my link below will get a piece of land effectively next to mine so we can build our own little kingdom which I think is really fun. So click the link in my description if you want to become part of the Lord Lady community and use code Amelie's 10 to get 10% off your order. put some Olivia Newton-John on because she died and that upset me a lot. I love that woman. Grease is one of my favourite films and when I was
was younger, I used to absolutely love Sandy. I thought she was so beautiful. I thought she was so talented. And oh my God, her voice. I was just, I couldn't stop listening to Hopelessly Devoted when I was little. <laughs> I still love that song to this day because it's just so nice. Alphabet aerobics time. I can't remember what I had for breakfast like I don't know yesterday I don't even know what I did yesterday but I remember this shit are you ready artificial amateurs aren't all amazing analytically I assault animate things broken barriers bounded by the bomb beat films are broken basically I'm bombarding casually create catastrophes casualties cancelling cats got the canopies collapsing Disney the day today Disney today fuck deadly to damage like daily doing dope demonstration done data on the download eating other editors each and every editor to get the episode an elevated delicate Like, I don't even want to know what's in those bushes. I'm just gonna... I mean, there's no space, so I'm kind of like sandwiched between these two lorries, which is just not ideal by any stretch of the imagination, but I don't... I can't do anything else, so... <laughs> That's my bed. Yeah! Okay. what I do every single time I stop the van okay I will see you at 5 a.m. it's probably gonna be six because I just love doing everything late it's like a hobby you know <laughs> right, that fan has been going all night and it stinks in here because it's extracted all of the smell from outside okay and brought it in here it's just it's not okay <laughs> Netherlands. The food in there is amazing, number one. Number two, everyone's tool. I now feel average. <laughs> Oh, I've actually gone lightheaded now. I'm pretty sure that's the kind of traffic jam you get in an apocalypse. Finally, it's raining. I know I've bitched about. 
about rain in the past, but it's been so hot for the last week that right now it's just so welcome. It's so nice. Holy shit. I'm in Hamburg after sitting in like, I don't know, two hours of traffic. So I'm just gonna go to the food shop. Come with me. Why are the eggs white? All the eggs are white. Why? <laughs> I don't know anything. This is so weird. I love it. Okay, so there's a beach near Copenhagen, right? And it is lovely. And I'm just thinking, I want to go there tonight because you can park on the beach, hopefully. Let's try it. Oh, I'm literally shitting myself. there's no speed limit so you can drive at whatever speed you want and um, I'm just insanely jealous. One is a tad scary because people are going a good, I don't know, 130 miles an hour which is a little fast. I don't feel like you need to go that fast however this might be coming from a place of jealousy because I wish I could drive that fast. I have a speed limiter on my van which means I literally cannot go above 70 miles an hour. Which, to be honest, sucks. Let's find this beach. Okay, so I found the beach. Um, I, I don't think I want to drive on this. It also says camping forbidden. All right, well screw that idea then. I saw a camper van in this car park, which looks a bit of a better bet. Holy shit, I've been driving for ages. But at least I'm here. Oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> If you told me a year ago that I'd be sneaking into a campsite to have a full length shower and that would be the highlight of my week, um, I don't know how I'd feel about that to be honest. The shower situation in a van is just horrendous. Like I have this thing and it's not, you know, it's all right. But two minutes is not long enough for a shower in my opinion. It does actually really suck. I got really kind of twitchy about it earlier because I was just really hot. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed because I've been driving I don't know, like 10 hours today. Tomorrow morning, I want to go to the beach and then I'm going to take us to Copenhagen.
my happy place. This breakfast, that view, that. No. Absolutely packed, which I love. Not. I haven't actually managed to park on a beach before, so this is a first. It's really nice. It is very busy though. Look over there. See the tides coming in so quickly. So I'm going to need to move my van, <laughs> which is good because we're going. few days of traveling look at my floor this is what my floor looks like after traveling because everything falls off here which really isn't <laughs> ideal but now i think i'm gonna cook dinner because i'm a hungry gal it's so weird everything's in different languages we've got ant fresh teeth gefroren broccoli we've got Ebla apples Hanchen chicken it's all very confusing oh this is such a good way to buy broccoli i don't know why i'm so excited by it but one you don't have to chop it up and two it looks amazing Honestly, the broccoli kind of tastes sad. Oh, that's really awkward. There's a car and I didn't shut the blind. Oh, that's so awkward. They're literally watching me eat like this. Oh my God, that's so... <laughs> I'm just gonna shamefully just kind of subtly chuck the um, blinds. Anyway, I'm very glad I made it to Copenhagen. That just, that took to be honest a lot longer than i thought it was going to but um driving through borders is really strange the fact that you can just drive through like five different countries just you can just drive through them i've never done that before i'm used to living in the uk where there's water that surrounds you i'm gonna go to sleep now because i'm very tired thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next friday Mwah. Thank <laughs> you.